Of course there's a big ass red guy on the other side. God damn it, I hate having to use these things. Nothing sucks more than having to use one ability that takes 30 seconds to load to switch to another ability that takes 30 seconds to load just to get one shot off. Maybe two if you're lucky. So the question has come up a few times, why I don't use more abilities, or why it looks like I'm always getting my ass kicked. Uh, there's a really good reason for this. Because I actually want to play the game. You see, each of those abilities takes about 15 to 30 seconds to load when I need to change armor or a sword. That's about a minute and a half to more. And sometimes you have to do them in rapid fire succession. Oh, and if you don't happen to have the spell you need, of which we have, I think, about ten, and you want to put it on your menu bar, that takes about a minute and a half. So no, I really don't have... I don't use all my cool spells, because... fuck that. I use the useful ones. Typically, you don't need half the stuff you get anyways, but... When it comes down to it, yeah, I just cannot be bothered to spend that much time loading the game. I'd rather take a few hits, even have a couple black screens where Kane has to say the stupid Heart of Darkness thing, than spend half my time editing out load screens. I mean, I already do that anyways. Anyways, that was a nice upgrade. No real trouble for that one. And this is the first of the new section of the cathedral. You can see that there's lots of traps. Uh, there's a couple of these Seraphan guys from Malik's domain. Although since we have the... what the hell? The stairs fought me. Also you'll notice since we have the flesh armor, we can actually get some of the blue blood from those guys, which you couldn't get before. What the hell is going on with these stairs? I just think they're supposed to be ramps or something. I'm not supposed to slide on stairs, damn it. That would be really inconvenient if you're trying to walk around this palace and you just kept slipping on the stairs. That's comedy waiting to happen. Anyways. These guys aren't much of a threat. If you really want, you can kind of fight the stairs a bit, because they can't go down them for some unknown god-awful reason. That was pretty simple. Might actually have to do that again in the future. It doesn't even waste mana. But not right now. Health upgrade? And we're out. To another spot that looks identical. On one side we have a quick downward arrow of an enemy, which means there's probably some stuff over here. Hey, Go away. A lot of arrows. I believe that health vial may not actually have increased our health, which means we're pretty much a max. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and. I guess I don't really need repel. Not that many arrows. It's just the ones coming upwards. You really can't avoid them because of the timing. And to teleport it out of here. To another section that looks the same. Random ass ghost women on the side. In case you need magic. I guess you can use blood gout to get those guys, but you know. Screw that. There's a stairwell that really doesn't want me to walk on it. Wow, and another. Look at this. That's ridiculous. I 
don't even think I want to fight this guy. Come here. Oh god. Wow, it's like I teleported down those stairs. Come on. I can't walk up them, he can't walk down them. This is not a good situation. Come here. I want to tap your feet with my sword. And if this stairwell decides to not fight us too much, we'll get out of here. To another room that looks the same. This is really lazy design, by the way. I just want to state that. So here is the worst part of any teleporter puzzle, the actual teleporter puzzle. The one where you have like two or three roads that all lead to different spots and you want to punch yourself in the face for an hour because you don't happen to know the magic code. Good god, look at all this. This is ridiculous. Thankfully I know where I'm going and I'm not going to dick around too much here. Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to spend any more time there because F that place. Instead, we get the Soul Reaver. Time fades even legend, and the origin of Soul Reaver has been lost long ago. But its purpose remains. To feed on the souls of any creature it strikes. Kindred, this blade and I. Oh, the origin's not lost, Kane. We just haven't experienced it yet. Anyways, let's go ahead and equip the Soul Reaver, because it's badass as hell. Come on. There it is. The Soul Reaver. Look at that. All black with a cow skull or whatever the hell that is. Looks like you could reave the hell out of some souls. Anyways, we'll go test this biatch out. Come on, where you at? A save point. I guess we can hit that up. And here we go. <coughs> Wham! Soul Reaver is almost a one-shot kill on everything. It makes everything scream in that nice, terrible sound. The downside of the Soul Reaver is that every hit will take away a little bit of magic. And you can go drive very soon, and then it becomes a pretty much worthless sword. Wow, hit both ways on that. Looks like I didn't even get the blood vial. It's retarded. Anyways. Look at that. Blown into bits. Soul Reaver is fun for a while, but pretty much we're only going to be using it to kill the bosses. And we have to switch out right now. Because you'll see another side effect of the Soul Reaver is that, like the axes, you cannot use magic or items with it. Which is stupid as hell. For the ultimate weapon, it's pretty... Not ultimate? Yeah, we're gonna go with not ultimate. Okay, and over here we have the Wraith Armor. Haha. <laughs> God, that guy exploded. Anyway, we're going after the Wraith Armor, which is the best armor in the game, and we have to get some switches, which don't even look like switches. That stuff's easy to figure out your first try. Of course, we got another type of enemy with retarded range and strength. Because the ending of this game likes to be hard for no apparent effing reason. God damn it, we well just died. There we go. And now we have no magic. Oh, that's nice of them. Let's go tear some more souls asunder. We'll put our timing skills to test over here. Grab this rune triangle. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? Ha! I win. Anyways, this section sucks. A lot. Like a lot, a lot. Okay, let's time that. That took about... Six seconds? Great. 
Six seconds is to walk from one room to another room. Let's count how many more times we have to do this. So far, we're at one. Use a heart of darkness real quick and get some health back. And we'll take care of this guy. Because he sucks. Nice convenient blood vial over here. And a guy who looks like you could drain blood from, but you can't. God, look how quick that interval is. Just everywhere, too. Anyway, these first few dungeons we're actually going to do pretty much legit legitimately. Um, just to show you what it's like. After a couple, we're going to just... I just can't last doing this the proper way. It's retarded.